Today I'm gonna to show you why the burger is bright red when you buy it. You get it home and it's brown in the center. So wild country, nothing comes in mechanically separated. Everything that we do for burger, we chunk it up for full muscle cuts. You're gonna see here, just like that, that's the way we start it. You see how it's got that purple tint to it? That's the myoglobin. You're coming over here, you see how it's already turning red? We're gonna go ahead and chunk all this up, run this through the grinder, and I'm gonna show you the different colors and the process of this burger. from all the full muscle cuts that we do throughout a day. What I've done is I've taken an inside round and put it with some chuck to grind out and make some good 80, 85% lean hamburger. You're gonna notice that this batch is done at one time, but I'm gonna show you about three different colors that we get from this batch of burger. We grind everything out twice. This is the first grind. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take it, I'm gonna put it back in the mixer grinder, let it mix for a second, and then we're gonna run it out for its final time. One of our secrets is we like to run it just a little bit loose so that oxygen can make a bigger impact. We don't add any chemicals or preservatives. I'm not gonna say anybody does, but you might check. So we're gonna run this out. You obviously see this come out of one batch. This guy right here, we're gonna set this in a cooler, let it hang out through the day. We're gonna watch it bloom, and then I'm gonna show you the center portion of it where it begins to turn a little bit brown. I'm also gonna show you if we grind it, put it in a vacuum sealed package, we're gonna take it to the cooler. We're not gonna send it to the freezer, and then I'm gonna show you what the color does there. I'm also gonna run some out, put it in a vacuum sealed package, and go straight to the freezer. You're gonna notice the different colors that we get out of all three of these. So here we go, the two vacuum sealed packages. Again, I'm gonna send this one to the freezer. I'm just gonna leave this one in the cooler. We're gonna come back and check these out in a couple hours. So we started off by making one batch of burger and I wanna show you the variations in the color. Um, again, this here was just ran out in the case. It's set back in the cooler for a couple few hours and it's, and it's bright and red as we call it, it's bloomed. This here is the same burger, but it's vacuum sealed. It's not frozen and it was just left in the cooler. So you can see how dark that that turned. Same batch of burger again, but this was taken, and you can tell it's frozen. This was taken straight to the freezer. And then this right here is the same meat that was left in the cooler and then taken to the freezer. You can tell it's frozen. So you've got three different colors right here, and then this is the meat that's bloomed. And a lot of people are always concerned because when they buy the hamburger meat and they store it, they go home, they open it up, and there's a little bit of brown in there. That's okay, there's nothing wrong. What it is, is it's the center part. It's where the myoglobin has not been introduced to oxygen and so it's been starved of it and it turns into a brown color. I'm going to show you here just real quick and you're going to see it probably there where it's been deprived of it just a little bit and as this meat sets it will continue to just turn brown in the center and we ran this a little bit loose so it would open up but again this burger is the same as this burger the difference is it's vacuum sealed we've removed the oxygen and that's what it looks like this burger is the same as this burger and this burger. It was taken straight to the freezer. You can see some of the discoloration. And again, same thing here. It's frozen form of this right here. And so same batch of burger, three distinct different colors, and obviously a very bloomed meat here that we put in the meat case. And this burger, again, it's not even barely but a few hours old. 